How old is this game, Jake? How old is it? Yeah, how old is Mafia 2? 2012? 11? I believe it. I think I turned this out. My name is Vito Scaletta. I was born in Sicily in 1925. That little guy's me. I'm standing there with my parents and my sister Francesca in front of our old house. I don't really remember too much about the old country. I'm straight with it, by the except way. Except that we were pretty hard up. Oh, shit. And then one day, my father decided it was time to move away. Away from Sicily. Across the ocean to start a new life in America. <laughs> Never in my life had I seen anything so what as is fantastic this, like GTA as Empire or Bay. Something? Yeah, it's pretty fucking close. Um, it's a lot worse, though. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so you're saying I should just, I should just be playing GTA? <laughs> I've never seen anything yeah, filthy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 100,000. On no shithole of an apartment. It's more story-centric and, like, you're in the mafia and stuff than it is. Like the American open world dream. crime game. It was more like a nightmare. Stop fucking kicking me. No. My father started as... working at the port for the guy who arranged our immigration. Always aiming and shooting. It was backbreaking work, and what little money he made mostly went towards booze. Uh, it's not the best. <laughs> Eventually, my parents sent me to school. Oh, I don't believe English. him. He's just keeping sure your hopes down. Be like a neighborhood full of Italians. <laughs> That's where I met Joe. <laughs> Come on, Vito, hurry it up. We ain't got a light. Jake, the last one so good. Had to be no. best friends. Big dicks and his and brother's we bum. Poor and it wasn't much cat. Work around. What? <laughs> Which word is supposed to be cat? Freeze! Police! Stop! Vito! This way! Vito! 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 The year was 1943. America was at war. And the Jill. army was looking for guys who spoke the language to help with the invasion of Sicily. Jill. I was 18. And anything seemed better than jail. Who says you can't go home with Kill him, Dustin. Oh Kill him. Oh, fuck. Let the hate flow. I always roll a second too late and just get fucking devastated for it. Three fragments. When, boys? Operation what? Husky. What's he fighting? I was assigned to the 500 no parachute infantry. Kind of On the 11th of July, course, we were supposed yeah. to be dropped over the, the southern coast of Sicily. The, the we got hit by flack and had to bail out. Don't throw that at me. Way behind the man in charge. Only three of us made it. Don't hit me again. Don't hit me again. Chill, chill. You fucking ass. If it wasn't for the local resistance, we wouldn't have had a Let chance. So when most of the soldiers came into the town and started rounding everybody up, we decided to return. I like that you tried to bargain with them. <laughs> Come on, man. Calm down. Calm down. Se nessuno parla, quest'uomo morirà. Oh, shit. Take the shot. Allora, traditori, 
Pensavate di poterci Dove prendere in giro? Di tradirci! Oddio, Avete oddio. pensato male! Abbassa la pilastra! Oh, this is so weird. Shit! I'm down! Oh, my God, this is way too loud. Holy... Holy shnikes. Oh, shit. 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 Then find the prisoners. We're gonna need every man we can get. Hey, Scaletta, over here. In Italy. Hey, Scaletta, over here, man. Naku, big you. Ain't getting through this way. Looks like we found the machine gun! Watch it! Watch it, Anthony! You got a grenade, Scaletta! This would be a great fucking time to use! Put a grenade through the window! <coughs> Get off your ass and let's move it. Grab all the ammo you Whoa. can carry. Oh. This might be our last Look chance. At this shit. <laughs> Maybe it's a dumb question. Is that true? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I have no idea. On, <laughs> made me laugh, but. Fair enough. Americani di merda. Must have the prisoners upstairs. Clear the second floor. Scaletta, you take point. Stop. Am I just permanently ADS? Like... Okay. <laughs> right behind <laughs> Oh, you thought you saltar that all? Oh, shit. Yeah. shit. Looks like we're going this way. Come on. All right. I have to work. Oh, oh, hey, hey, oh, hey, oh, Jesus Christ. Shit, this balcony isn't gonna work. We gotta keep moving. Let's get inside. Uh, get inside, Scaletta. You're gonna die out there. I'm 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 gonna die I'm a sour adult! These guys get inside! We're fine! You are still! Oh shit, they got artillery! Get inside! Now! Get them! I can't get off the let me go. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. How do I get off this fucking machine gun? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, 
dicevo al mio amico di stare attento. Fregatene di fare attenzione, fai ciò che ti è stato oh, detto. Davvero Don Calò? Jesus Christ. Cacetto. Un congè quando si amareta come cucina. Ma chi è quello? Lo conoscete? Eh, lo conoscono tutti. Don Calò è un uomo d'onore. È uno stupido trucco degli americani, non ditemi che gli credete. No, è davvero Don Calò. Ogni tanto dovessi ascoltare i consigli di noiarsi del posto. Ci rendiamo. Sapete che potete affidarvi di me. Che ne dite, eh? Don Calò. Did you get all the right? Yeah. Nice. An entire garrison of troops surrendered that day. Why? Because he told them to. Grady Patty. Well done. Well done. Well done. An effort was made. Thanks, Obama. Thanks, Obama. You're the best. Oh, I gotta pee. She's a little janky, but it's, like, it's later, not as janky as I thought it was going to be. I was in the hospital for a bit, then I got a month's leave so I could go home. At least for a little while. Vito! Over here! Joe! Hey, hey, hey! Welcome home, buddy. How'd you know? I think I'm supposed to... I got my sources. Come on, let's oh. take a ride. I think I made this game sound weird because I turned nice the music car. down to Coming up the territory. I know you're itching to get home, but first, let's get a beer. Yeah, sure. Do I get to drive? Do I get to drive cars in this game? There it is. Oh, Empire dude. Bay. Tell the truth. You miss it? Hey, there's a bear shit in the woods? Not like sure. this place ever done me any favors, but anything's better than a foxhole. What's with this shitty weather? They're saying this is the coldest winter on record. Papers say it's gonna keep up like this for weeks. Don't worry, though. A drink will warm you right up. How long's it been since we had a drink together, Vito? Two years? <laughs> Almost three. Tony Sincelli's party, right? Come on, Vito. Come on. That's pretty decent the last drink we had together was right after you were Right said. before you shipped out. You remember? Uh, he left. Five minutes. We're already talking he about left, my left? father. Yeah, he said he had subject, work. Please. He had a good bed. So tell me, pal. Uh, I, was like, like, I even was like, you have a good night, I man. And he's like, you to too. See what was going on. And you know how much I hate I didn't hear shit. shit. They said, get on this machine gun. You guys kicked Mussolini's ass, right? Uh, sort of. And I didn't hear shit. We had shit. a little help from a guy named Don Calo. No shit. Don Calo. I heard of him. Really? You bet. I know guys like him over here, wise guys. You work for them, you set. You fuck with them, you die. Nice to see you've been busy. Yeah, and I heard you got a medal, right? From old man Patton himself. Whoa, so you're a real war hero, huh? <laughs> and then what? You screwed a couple of Sicilian broads and came home? Yeah, right. <laughs> the old country. Over here, you can screw anything with a heartbeat. No one gives a shit. What a country. Here's to the U.S. of A. and to having you back home. Salud. Ah, salud. Chin down. So how come you're back? They let you out early for good behavior? Nah, I took a bullet a couple months back, spent some time in the hospital, and now I'm on leave. Wait, whoa, whoa. You mean you gotta go back? Yeah, <laughs> what'd you think? What? Well, over yet. You don't want to go back, do you? Nah, of course not, but what can I do? One minute. Wait right here. Uh. Are you watching me? Yeah, or what are you doing? ready to pull it up. I was just mean. Uh, okay. Hey, Giuseppe. It's Joe. Remember uh, last week, you know, the guy, the guy's name is uh, Vito Scaletta. Thanks, Giuseppe. All right, I'll see you later. Redheads. Absolute bane of my humanity. Okay, listen up. It appears that your injury is much more serious than it first appeared, and the doctors say you can't fight no She's more. She's giving me those eyes, too. What? <gasps> oh, whoa, whoa, did you just... 
Like I said, I know people. You get all the official paperwork tomorrow. When it comes to the right stamps and signatures, it's just a question of money. You're kidding me, right? <laughs> Isn't that a bit risky? It's me that can open the slammer, you know? And how am I gonna pay for it? I got it covered. Think of it as a welcome home present. And don't worry, the documents will be clean. Trust me. Well, thanks. Cheers, You're welcome. Mate. Come on, Fred. You're like a brother to me. Humphrey now you whiskey. can start thinking about what you're gonna do next. Sure, but first I gotta go home. All right, you want to ride? No thanks. I want to walk around a little, see what's changed since I've been gone. No problem. Say hello to your sister for me. Come see me tomorrow. We got a lot to talk about. I can't believe you just got me out of the service. Thanks again. No problem. I'll catch up with you tomorrow. NASA employee. Oh, hey, you guys are back early. Astronaut. Here Moon's haunted. Right, NASA thanks. employee. Change. What? Astronaut loading a pistol and getting back in the rocket ship. Moon's haunted. That's <laughs> all there is to it. Hey, what's the good word? How you doing, soldier? A lot better now that I'm home. You, you on leave or Obviously, home for good? Obviously, everybody knows That's, the only way to beat a ghost uh, is with gun. So, uh, what's new around here? Tell the truth, not much. Everybody just wants the war to be over. I put a moth meme up And they're saying this meme. is the coldest winter on record. I wish I had some good news. I'll leave it on something nice and kosher. Yeah, you and me both. All right, I'll see you. Catch you later, buddy. You didn't even link your stream in here. Yeah, it's going to my stream. To... Oh, aren't you subscribed to me? <laughs> aren't I subscribed? Like and subscribe. Dude. Like, favorite, subscribe, and smash that bell. My name's uh, the Luna Tim or some shit like that. YouTube.com slash the Luna Tim. Mother. Hi, Mama. Oh. I'm back. Vito. Vito, my boy. <laughs> my boy's home. I thought I'd never see you again. Isn't that wholesome? <laughs> Francesca and me, we wait. Did you find it? This is what's going on. We wait for you. Oh. What? Yeah. So oh. Sit down, sit down. Huh? You must be hungry, no. Vito. Francesca made you a special dinner. Zuppa what? di pollo. You'd be surprised what going to the live side of YouTube and then ta typing in the Demon Tem will get you. <laughs> there you go. I linked it in the general. You can just scroll up. There, I linked it again. And scroll up like how fucking far. There you far. go. I relinked it. It's good for you. Make me miss the whole cutscene. Ow! Ah! I'm just kidding. Who the fuck is this? Wow, looks good, Frankie. It's a shame your papa didn't live to see this. He would be so proud, Vito. Yeah, sure. Vito, you know better. Sorry, Mama, sorry. Is it working? Did you click that? <laughs> You should get some sleep. Your room is just like you left it. Sure. Bunch of whisperings in Spanish. That's not my room. That's the bathroom. What the fuck?
I'll see you two in the morning. Wait, do all three of you live in this one apartment? Yeah. Where does Darren sleep? I don't know. He j I just got back from like the war or some shit. Uh, so it's probably like they so, this ain't gonna cut it. Here and you I gotta yeah. place but apparently, stash. like this is you know, like that's my mom and this is my like childhood, like all this shit. This is my like childhood living. Yeah, See well, that out there? That I used to throw spitballs at the neighbor's window down there, and they fucking get pissed off. Nobody's sleeping in the other bed. Downloadable content upgrade pack. High school outfit. <laughs> Oh yeah, I have like a, like all the DLC for this game for some reason. So <laughs> I apparently have like a bunch of fucking weird clothes. Racing suit. Ah. Uh. So you have to go back to the video. Actually, uh, looks like I won't. Uh, Joe's taking care of it for me. Joe, you want to get into trouble again? Mama, would you rather me go back and get shot again? No. Exactly. No. Joe probably saved my life. Promise that you won't get in any more trouble like with that Joe. Sixteen time. times. You know, it's an Papa used miracle to work for this man right in the now. waterfront named Papa Lardo. Joe He's probably in saved the my union. life. You could talk to him, work hard like you were your Papa. Talk to him, please. Promise me you go talk to him today. Okay, Mama, okay, I promise. Okay, Mom, Jesus. Grazie, Leo. Jesus Christ. Grazie. I don't give I'm a sorry. damn. I don't care. You're missing money. I promise. What the hell's going on here? The the hell's you going mind on your business, here. asshole. Oh, yeah? yeah. Oh, shit. You want to fucking go? Come on, Junior. I'm going to take you to school. Oh, you ready for this jab? Huh? Oh, okay. All right. Try that again. See what happens. Oh, jeez. All right. He's fucking me up. Oh, there we go. Bop, bop, bop. You want to fucking run that by me again? Ooh. Bop, bop, bop. Oh my god. Oh my god, this man. Sit down. Stay down. Oh my god. You wanna fucking go? Stand up. Stand your bitch ass up. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You had enough yet? Bop! <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> ah, fuck. Yeah, that's right. Get, Get the, the fuck, fuck out, out of here. here. Oh, You're gonna shit. You're going to be sorry. The both of you. What the hell was that all about? I'm sorry, Vito. We didn't want to bother you with this. Bother me? Bother me with what? Come on, tell me what's going on here, Frankie. Right before he died, Papa borrowed money. A lot of money. <coughs> a loan shock. Thinking he'd get a better job and pay him back. We found out right after you left for the war. How much? Two thousand dollars. What? Shit. The worst thing is, this guy wants it all back by the end of this week. Otherwise, the debt goes up again. I ain't gonna make that kind of money working at the port. Who is this guy? I don't know. Mama won't tell me. Thousand It's okay, Vito. We'll manage somehow. Don't worry. I'll take care of this. I Do promise. I look fucking rich? Thanks, Vito. Take care of yourself. I gotta get my hands on two grand fast. I bet Joe could help me out.
Yeah, that dude got scrapped up there for real. That put him in the hospital. Camera shakes intense. Is it fixed yet? Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, uh, do you know where Joe Barbro lives? To the right of the stairs. And tell him that racket last night has to stop. If he don't like it, he can find another place. Yeah, yeah, shut up, you little bitch. <laughs> hey, this is bad, huh? <laughs> We're not at all. Come on in, let's talk. <laughs> You disgusting pig. <laughs> I picked up these broads on my way back from the store. I've been waiting for you. All right, girls, that's it for now. I got business. Stop by tomorrow, okay? We'll pick up where we left off. Chop, chop. Cody, you old dog. Stop, and we can all have fun. The fun's over, baby. Later, I say. Me and Vito here haven't seen each other for a long time. So we got a lot of catching up to do. That's a bug. Looks like you're doing okay, Joey. Boy. That's all bug. Not bad. I tell you that little Spanish broad is fucking wild. I caramba. How'd it go at home? Good. Mama wasn't thrilled when I mentioned your name, though. And you know how she is. She wants me to get a straight job. You're gonna look for one? I don't know, but I sure as hell ain't gonna make the same mistake my old man did. I gotta pay off his debts, then get back on my feet and get my own place. I need to make some real money, and punching the clock ain't gonna cut it. Hey, you could stay with me as long as you need to, and we'll find you a job where you can make good money without killing yourself, all right? Music to my ears. Right now, I'm living off the 20 bucks the state gives me every week. <laughs> I know lots of people who pay well for a risky job, so to speak. I'm sure I can line something up for my oldest friend. The working man's a sucker, that's for damn sure. You said it. Okay, step one. I gotta introduce you to Giuseppe so we can pick up them discharge papers. Let's go. You made enough cash for all this in Dang, the last three years? Dressed well, fast. Like the last three yeah, months. He like stepped off screen in a fucking like t-shirt and his underwear and he just, just steps back right on people. screen. Fucking set. got his Look trail blazer. Yeah. Oh shit. He's looking Look he's this. looking fresh out as fresh as fuck out here. You know, in his yeah. blazer and now his little hat. Too. Can't do business without it these days. So you thought about what you're gonna do now? You said you were gonna introduce me to that guy Giuseppe. Nah, nah. I met you know the big picture when you was over there. Didn't you think about what you was gonna do when you got There's back? No walk by there. Really? It makes well, me sad. Besides the usual, you know, find a nice girl, settle down. Whoa, hey, there's gonna be plenty of time for that shit later. Right now, I'm gonna make sure you live a little. Hey, uh, thanks again for that thing with the discharge papers. Hey, all I did was make a phone call. You can thank Giuseppe when we go pick him up. Damn, she said my wish in there. Hey, uh, you think I could, uh... Quite if I drive? Drive, Vito? The roads are icy. You ain't never drove a car before. Joe, I was driving almost the whole time I was over there. Yeah, but this ain't no tank, Vito. This is one of the nicest cars money can buy. Look I didn't at drive me. a tank. I drove a Jeep. What the hell's a Jeep? It's, uh... Never mind. It, you're gonna let me drive over. All right, all right. Here's the keys. Sucker. Just be fucking careful. I'm gonna crash this All thing. Right. When it's cold as fuck outside, you gotta give it a little more gas than usual. That's the pedal over there on the right. I know, Joe, I know. Okay, now make a right here. Then just go straight for a while. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow it down a bit. No need to get pulled over for no reason. Just 
Fuck you. Where's the flip people off button? Hey Vito, you know what time it is? It's daytime. I'm fucking. Oh shit. It's time for you to get your own fucking car. Yeah, I'd love to like afford one. Who says you're gonna pay for That's it? That's how you drive. You know, you wasn't kidding. They really taught you to drive over there. At least something good come out of it. Jesus Christ. They should not have told me the handbrake button. Ooh, get a load of that baby. Nice. That's a 42 Jefferson. Beautiful car like that, it'd be a shame to smash the window. You should grab Don't yourself some you lockpicks over at Giuseppe's. Yeah, so. Welcome to Giuseppe's General Store, a thief's paradise. A you name it, it, he's got it. He even sells phony gun permits and discharge papers for guys tired of getting their asses shot. Hey, Giuseppe, I brought Hello, you a Joe. new customer. He's uh, straight up, right? Yes, sir, all the way. This here's Vito, my oldest friend. This is Giuseppe. The best safe cracker in Empire Retired, Bay. please. How are you? Uh, papers for you? Yeah, they are. You got them finished already? It was a pain in the ass, but sure, they're done. Well, thanks. This really gonna work? Nobody from the army will bother you again, trust me. You see? what I tell you? Is the, audio, is the, the game audio loud enough? Take your papers, Vito. Okay. Uh, we need a set of lockpicks, too. That we do. And guess who's paying for them? Grazie. But you can test it right now. Here, take this lock. You just need to insert the pick into the lock and lift all the pins. You use the wrench to hold the pins one by one. When all of the pins are set, you just turn the wrench and the lock should open. It's easy. Okay. Ah, oh, damn it. Giuseppe said Benedict. Easy, huh? Don't worry, you'll get the hang of it. Soon, I do it all the time when I lock my keys in the car. Okay, you still feel like snagging that car? You kidding me? Absolutely. Well, here's your chance. Not too bad. I think I'll keep it. All right, let's go find ourselves a body shop. They provide the kind of services we're looking for. Hey, that don't sound cheap. Don't worry about it. I got it covered. Just find any body shop. I know the guy who runs it. Here, park right here in front of the garage door. Okay, now honk your horn. Well, afternoon. What can I do you for, pal? A license plate. <laughs> for you, no problem. Oh.
There you go. Give her a couple of... Bring it by any time. The monkey looks the buzzard right dead in the eye. All right, next you should introduce yourself to Mike Bruski. He'll probably have some work for you. All right, where is he? He owns a junkyard over in Riverside. You can't miss it. Get away. I will hey. kill you. Who's that guy back there? What guy? The guy at the body shop. Oh, what the Tommy. fuck? He's my buddy's nephew. He's kind of quiet, but let me tell you, the kid's some hell of a dancer. Saw him at the old dance hall in Easter Bay a couple of weeks ago. He had all the broads going nuts. Do I detect a hint of uh, jealousy? Are you kidding? I don't need no dance moves. I got charm, my friend. Here, I'll give you some of my lines. So maybe you won't have to spend so many nights with Rosie Palm and her five sisters. Hey, here's one. Hey, is that a mirror in your pocket? Because I can see myself in your pants. <laughs> Now here, I got another one. If I could rearrange the alphabet, I'd put you and I together. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, this one never fails. Hey, baby, that's a nice outfit. It look good crumpled up at the foot of my bed in the morning. And this works for you. Oh, here, here's a good one. Hey, do you know the difference between sex and conversation? No? You want to go back to my place and talk? You got problems, you know that? How about this one? Why don't we go back to my place and play house? You be the door and I'll slam you. Oh, that was bad. Hey, when you measure seven soft, you don't have to be good with words. You get my drift? <laughs> All right, almost there. Make a right up here. That's Mike's junkyard there. Just drive through the gate. The buzzer told the monkey you are choking me really sure. Then I'll set you free. The monkey looks the buzzer right there. Look who's hey, here. Hey, Mikey boy, what's going on? Shit, Mike, you can wash your fucking hands once in a while. Now I need a fucking bed. Hey, I've been working. Working people occasionally get dirty, well, you know? Besides, I just wiped them off. What, what? The same fucking rag you used to clean the toilet, you filthy fuck? Put a lid on it. What are you, from the health department, or you want to do some business? <laughs> business, of course. This here's my friend Vito. Vito, this is Mike Bruski. But don't shake his hand. I ain't got that much soap at home. Nice to meet you, Vito. Hey, uh, me and Vito go way back. He just come back from overseas and he needs some cash. So I figure he can help with your uh, supply problem. I can vouch for him. Uh-huh. Okay. Joe told you about our side business, right? Yeah. I only want regular cars, nothing fancy. You get a cut of every car. I take as many as I can handle. And don't bring no cops around, okay? They follow you here. I don't know your ass from Jesus. You get me? Got it. God damn it, Mike. You put your grubby mitts on my fucking coat. I paid a fortune for this thing. All right, calm down or I'll stick them up your ass, you sissy. You know, dry cleaning costs Jesus these days. Christ. Plenty. And who knows if they can even get this filth you out. You shut up. Vader, listen to me. I need a Walter Coop today. I got a few people looking for parts, but I can't find a car. Because you don't know where to look. Every time I drive down Hunters, I see one parked by a bar there. I think the place is called the Lone Star. Isn't that a move in your neighborhood? I'll stick out like a sore thumb. All right, look, I'll give you 350 bucks for it. It's worth the risk, right? 400. <laughs> <laughs> All right, deal. Uh, Vito, come on, let's go. Andiamo. Meantime, I'll be sending you the cleaning bill for my coat. Yeah, I'll change my address, you rat prick. Okay, listen up. This is your maiden voyage, so to speak. So try not to fuck it up, man. Eh? Here, Vito, take this, just in case. Hey, nice. Hey, Mike, you mind if I test this thing out here? Sure. Knock yourself out. Here you go. Aim for that old wreck over there.
ain't a bad shot. Hey, Vito, see if you can hit the gas tank. I leave gas in that thing? There's a Polak joke there, but I'll leave it alone. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. Fuck you. All right, that's enough shooting. We got work to do. the way we came in and get on the main highway going west. Don't go back through the city. Go right up here. So how's it feel to be back? Good. I feel a lot better with some money in my Hey, what's the rush? Money don't buy you happiness, you know. Get the fuck out of here. I was just fucking with you. Don't worry about the money. This little job is just the beginning. Pretty soon you'll be rolling in. So, same the same show. Whoa! Oh, no, no. Copy that. actually ain't too bad now. Some are just into us. We're bringing them in. Oh, oh, the movies flew south for the work. Roger that. Of course it's still a shithole, Vito. You've only been gone a couple of years. It's gonna take a lot longer than that for that neighborhood to turn around. Them people multiply like rabbits. What are you gonna do? It's even worse than when we was kids. They even got some kind of gang there now. What's their fucking name? Uh, the Beamers, the Boomers, something like that. I don't fucking know. Oh, that's just fucking great. Hey, what are you worried about? They're animals. All they do is sell dope with oh, fuck. They ain't gonna bother a guy like you. And even if they do, that's why I gave you that pistol. Oh, by the way. You carrying a gun now? What's the deal with that? Can't do business without it these days, especially in this fucking neighborhood. You, uh, really know how to inspire confidence, you know that? Take a left up here. Oh, I forgot how nice this neighborhood was. You know something? One of these days, I'm gonna buy a house here. Look at this guy. Ain't even back in day, and he's too good for his old neighborhood. Hey, what are you breaking my balls for? I'm just window Jesus shopping. Christ. It'll be years before I could afford a place like this. <laughs> you got champagne tastes and beer pockets, my friend. Don't worry, though. I'm going to help you change that. Jesus Christ. It's so hard to drive. that cream colored baby over there be careful do it quick and get the fuck out of there break a window if you have to and go i'll wait for you back at mike's what if i run into problems then you deal with them look consider this a test if you fail i hear the hiring down at the factory right just asking good luck pal i see you back at mike's
Is that it? Hey, mission accomplished. How'd it go? Yeah, piece of cake. Except for the fact that the car belonged to a bunch of moolies who immediately tried to kill me right after you left. Ah, uh, probably the bombers. Hunters their neighborhood. Guys like that, you don't have to worry about them. They just hang out on the street, talk shit, steal shit, and smoke dope. <sighs> Let's see what we got here. Oh, nice. No stains. Clean. Where's the lowlife get the money for this? Probably stole it himself. It's nice, though. How much did I say I'd give you for it again? Six hundred. <laughs> oh, I like your buddy, Joe. Here's your four hundred bucks. Stop by again, okay? We can do some more business. Yeah, you bet, Mike. I see you, Mike. I'll stop by again real soon. All Me right, too. boys. I'll see you later. Here's your three hundred bananas. I'm taking my cut as the middleman. Next time, you're on your own. All right. Thanks, Joe. All right, let's go home. I'm exhausted. So, uh, if I got a car I want to get rid of... Yeah, just bring it by and I'll take it off your hands if I can. And I'll make it worth your while.
We should take the highway, Vito. Right, you pulled off that job without fucking it up. Nice going. Yeah, but I almost got my ass kicked. I didn't live through the war just to die in Sand Island. Hey, that's all part of the deal, pal. Take it or leave it. Besides, it ain't like you're qualified for anything else. Uh, I guess you're right. Don't worry about it. It's all gonna be a piece of cake. So, uh... What's the story with Bruski? Mike's a good guy to know. He's a little grouchy, but he's always got a scam going. He deals with stolen cars mostly. Spent some time inside a while back. I heard he used to stick up gas stations back in the day. You gonna make him pay the cleaning bill for your jacket? Nah, I'll let that one slide. I do a lot of business with the guy. Plus, he's got one hell of a temper. One time we was at the track and some mix spilled a beer on his wind ticket. Mike beat the shit out of him till he went blind in one eye. Lousy ten bucks. That shit. Sounds like kind of a scumbag. Hey, you just got to know how to handle these people. And Mike's a pussycat compared to some of the guys I met since you shipped out. You'll see. Hey, is there a safe place to park around here? I don't want to leave this thing out in the street. Yeah, that's why you're parking your car next to mine in the garage. The streets are full of criminals these days. Yeah, the neighborhood ain't what it used to be, huh? Hungry, there's some food in the refrigerator. You're hungry, Vito. Take whatever you want from the fridge. Joe's pleasure, pal. It's Vito speaking. Vito, why didn't you come home last night? I was worried sick. Mama? I didn't know you had Joe's number. And whose phone is this? So have you spoken to Mr. Papalardo? Find yourself a job? Yeah, he told me to come by and see him today. Hopefully he's got some work for me. Okay, Vito. Good luck, mio bambino. All right, bye, Mama. Oh, uh, uh, hi there. What's the matter? Nothing good on the radio? Mind your beeswax, kid.
Pursuit of a speeding vehicle. Ten four. Suit of a speeding vehicle. <laughs> Copy that. Some idiot just drove into us. We're bringing him in. Roger that. Close the door. It's windy. What do you want? Uh, yeah, I'm looking for a Mr. Papalotto. Oh, yeah? Why? My name's Vito Scaletta. My old man used to work for him, and I'm looking for a job, so I came here. Well, you're in the right spot, sonny boy. Federico Papayato at your service. You can call me Derek. I think I remember your dad. Good guy, but drank like a fish. What's he up to these days? He's dead. Oh, well, we all gotta go sometime. Right, Steve? Sure, Derek. So you need a job, man? Huh? Well, you're in luck. We just got a new shipment to unload. Steve will show you around. Now, Scram, my steak's getting cold. Uh, follow me.
Load this pile of crates onto that truck. When you're done, you get ten bucks. If something gets lost or broken, you get nothing. Start now and don't take all day. <laughs> hey, you done? Yeah, I'm done. And you can keep the ten bucks. When I said I needed a job, I didn't mean slave labor. Whatever. Get the fuck out of here, then. Don't show your face around here again. Yeah, don't worry. I can make a hundred times more working for Barbaro Incorporated. Wait. You said Barbaro? Joe Barbaro? Yeah, so what? Shit. Nobody who works with Joe would carry crates for ten bucks. What the hell are you doing? Come with me. What now? Well, this one don't like manual labor. What the fuck? Said he works with Joe Barbaro. Bullshit. Who wanna load crates if he works with Joe? You'll have to explain this one to me, sonny boy. What's your story? Uh, well, my mother wanted me to come talk to you about an honest job, but I need some real money, so this ain't gonna cut it. <laughs> Them women, they're all the same. Right, Steve? Sure, Derek. She doesn't want you hanging around with Joe, right? <laughs> My mother was the same way. Look what become of me. Union boss. I got the whole fucking waterfront under my thumb. So how's Joe? Pretty good, I guess. How'd you meet up with him? Oh, we go way back to the old neighborhood. I just come back from overseas and he's putting me up until I can get back on my feet. Listen, uh, you gotta understand, a person in my position has gotta be careful. Certainly. So you won't mind if I give Joe a call, right? No, go ahead. Now, where'd I put his number? Hey, here it is. Might not be home. That wouldn't be good. Hi, Joe. Hey, this is Derek. Listen, I got this guy here. Uh, what'd you say your name was? Vito. Vito. He's looking for a job. He says he's a friend of yours. It's a good friend. I just wanted to check with you first. Uh-huh. Sure. War hero and all that shit. All right, all right. Thanks, then. I'll talk to you later. Sorry, pal. I had to check you out. Joe says you just come back from Italy. You must be able to handle yourself. You want to make a little more money? I got just the thing. The guys here at the port are supposed to pay a monthly fee to the barber, but half of them never cough it up. I need someone to give them a little nudge. Ten bucks a man. What if they don't need a haircut? Well, then you'll have to convince them otherwise. I see. What if somebody makes a fuss? Then you kick the shit out of them. Well, let's say you teach them a lesson that doesn't require that they miss work. You got it? Which is why Steve ain't doing the job. Right, Steve? Right, boss. Collect at least 150 bucks, I give you 50. Just for walking around, taking it into Sierra, meeting new people. Easy fucking money, eh? What do you say? 
Yeah, hey, it's better than lugging crates around. All right, then. Get going. <clears throat> I'm here to collect the fee for the barber. Hey, what kind of game you playing here? The kind where you pay what you owe when you don't get hurt. You got a problem with that? I got a problem with you. Now get out of here before I kick your ass. Here's your fucking money. Yeah, glad you decided to reconsider. Hey, pal. Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Uh, yeah. I must have forgot or something. Next time, try to pay on time, okay? Thanks. Hey, Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Sure, here it is. I don't want no problems. Don't leave it until the last minute next time. Hey, pal. Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Look, asshole. I'm not in the mood. Why don't you get out of my face before you get hurt? Ah, no can do, pal. Derek wants his money. Derek can kiss my ass. What's that fat fuck gonna do? Have me killed? Hey, you said it, not me. Why don't you give it a try then, asshole? Kick his eyes! <laughs> Anybody else got a fucking problem with paying for the fucking barber? Here's the money, boss man. Good job. Here's your share. I watched you take care of Bill. You were good. Steve damn near got his ass kicked when he tried that. Right, Steve? Yeah, right, Derek. Here's a bonus for sorting him out. Thanks. The guy's been a real fucking pain. Now get out of here, kids. I gotta be getting back to business. Hey, say hello to your mother for me. Tell her you got yourself a job as my new assistant. Yeah, will do. I'll see you later. And Vito, I almost forgot. Joe called. He wants you should meet him at Freddy's.
pursuit of a speeding vehicle. Roger that. Looking good. Full tank, please. Be done in a jiffy. <laughs> I'm just doing this part time. What I really want to do is act. You know, like on a radio. Huh. Who wouldn't want to be a voice actor? Come on. At everything. Thank you. See ya. Can I help you? Thanks a lot. Take a load. Hey, where the hell you been? I came right over as soon as you called. What's going on? You remember the wise guys we used to see when we was kids? Yeah, why? The guy we're meeting here is one of them. His name's Henry Tomasino. I think he's got something big for us. Yeah, no shit. Yeah. We're done with the small-time jobs. It's time to make some real shut off. Here, he's coming. Don't say nothing stupid. Hey, Henry, how are you? Hi, you, Joe. This the guy? Yeah, this is Vito, an old friend of mine. Good to meet you, Henry. You vouch for him? Absolutely, Henry. Trust him with my life. Okay, listen, I got a job for you. The money's good. I need gas stamps. They're worth the fortune now because of the gas shortage. Where can we get them? In the Office of Price Administration. Uh, that's a federal government agency. Isn't that a little risky? What? Too much for you. No, no, no. Just trying to think of how we can pull it off. Ah, it can't be that hard. The stamps are kept in the safe at night, but the keys are probably around here somewhere. You got somebody inside? Yeah, one of our guys. His sister works there. Can she help us out? Ask her yourself. Her name's Maria and Yellow. Here's the address. Tell her I say it. All right, what about the safe? What if the keys aren't there? That's your problem. So what's the job pay? I'll give you 600 bucks for 10,000 gallons worth of stamps. Okay, we're in. No, no, I need Vito to do this alone. I got another job for you, Joe. So, what do you say, Vito? Yeah, sure. Hey, and don't forget to take a piece with you. You never know what's gonna happen. Better to be safe than sorry. I got beach. Wait, wait, wait. This isn't some liquor store stick-up. I want this to be a clean job. If you kill anybody, your cut drops to a third. Gabish? Yeah, I got it. No problem. Okay, when you're done, you come back here and we'll settle up. All right, I'll see Good you. Good luck, Vito. <clears throat> Joe.
Joe and I have some business to discuss. Yeah, can I help you? Yeah, hello, ma'am. Uh, Henry Tomasino sent me. He said you might be able to help me with a little problem down at the Office of Rice Administration. Yeah, I heard about that. What do you need from me? Uh, I need to get in there tonight. All right, tell you what. My sister's in the hospital right now. If you give me a lift over there, I'll tell you everything you need to know. It's right across the street from the OPA, so it ain't like you're going to be going out of your way. Sure, no problem. Okay, let's go. And take it easy behind the wheel, all right? I've seen the way you kids drive these days. All right, kid. What? The place is locked up pretty tight at night, so you gotta get in through the back. They keep the back door open at night? No, safe but the basement driving. window usually is, so that's how you can get in. You're looking for the safe, right? Yeah, how'd you know? Lucky guess. It's on the top floor. So's the director's office. That's where the keys are. Okay. So I go in through a window around the back, then head upstairs to the director's office, right? Right. And be careful. There's guards in there at night. Don't let them see you. Drop me at the hospital right here. The office is across the street. Okay, thanks for the ride, kid. Thanks, Maria. I'll see you.
Okay. This is the director's office. This is where the key should be. All right, here's the key. Now I gotta get to the safe. This is the Empire Bay Police Department. We have you surrounded. Come out with your hands up. If you do not surrender immediately, we will open fire. Hey, maybe somebody should call for more backup. Jesus Christ.
How'd you make out? Uh, things got out of hand. There's nothing I could do about it. We had an agreement. Remember? You only get a third of the money if there's any shooting. Uh, let's see what we got here. Ah, oh, shit. Something wrong? You bet your ass there's something wrong. These stamps you took have an expiration date. And that date is tomorrow. So, uh, what exactly does that mean? It means they're gonna be fucking worthless. But wait. If you can get them to the gas station attendants by midnight, they'll be able to stamp them and redeem them. You better bring them to every gas station in town. They gotta get there by midnight or we're screwed. If you don't sell them in time, you get nothing. Wait a minute, that wasn't our deal. You didn't say anything about any expiration dates. Well, shit happens, doesn't it? Look, you pull this off, I won't forget it, trust me. Now get going. The faster you unload them, the more money you get. I got these extra gas stamps. You want them? They're yours. Cheap. Yeah, all right. I'm good with that. All right, here you go. You keep your mouth shut about this, all right? Sure thing, buddy. It'll be our secret. It better be. Some idiot just drove into us. We'll bring it back. <laughs> Copy that. Hey, uh, you in the market for some surplus gas stamps? Sure. Where'd you get them? Uh, on second thought, I don't even want to know. Smart man. All right, now fork over the dough. Yeah, all right. Just hope... hope I don't get in trouble for this. Don't worry about it. Just keep your mouth shut. some extra gas stamps. You interested? Yeah, yeah, sure. I'm interested. All right, here you go. Walk over the dog. Sure, sure. Here's your money. Thanks, pal. 
Now forget your song. Hey, uh, interested in buying some gas stamps? Sure. Just keep this between you and me, all right? No problem. Just make sure you do the same. Sure. Sounds good to me. Hey, uh, interested in buying some gas stamps? Sure. Just keep this between you and me, all right? No problem. Just make sure you do the same. Sure. Sounds, sounds good to me.
Hey, uh, I got some extra gas stamps. Interested? Yeah, yeah, sure. I'm interested. All right, here you go. Walk over the door. Sure. Sure. Here's your money. Thanks, pal. Now forget your song. All right, that's the last one. At least I got some cash. I do you for, pal? All right, I'll see you then. Look at this. Didn't know Joe could even write. We got another job. Something really big. Stop by Freddy's tonight. Bring a piece and some lockpicks. 